receive us. Hi, it's Gary from LawNarration.com. I want to take just a couple minutes and be real basic about what grass seeds to buy and what to look for in your grass seed. Uh, first off, when you go to the store, the labels are very confusing. It'll say stuff like sunshade mix, shade tolerant, heat tolerant, all different sorts of things, bluegrass, good color, wear resistance, all this stuff. What does all that mean? Well, I'm going to try to break it down for you. I'm going to try to be kind of brief um, for different um, grass seeds that we use. You can look at a longer, more extensive video I've done on all these grass seeds uh, that describes all their properties. Uh, first off, don't buy your grass seed, number one, at a, at a farm supply store in the big bulk bins. Now, if you buy it in the bags from a good supplier, that's all right. But don't buy it in the big bulk blends because you don't know if they've been mixed together. It's also really hard to tell what's in that seed blend, if it's good quality or not. You might get something that's made more for cows to eat in a pasture. You don't want any of that. Uh, also, when you go to the store, if you need something heat tolerant, uh, drought resistant, or tough, look on that bag and make sure you're buying something like a turf type tall fescue and not something like a Kentucky 31 blue fescue because you're going to end up with something that looks like horses should run around on it. Something really coarse like this. Uh, stay away from that stuff. You don't need it. Um, so let's go through these real quick. Uh, if you're looking for something for a fast establishment or something that's safe to add in any lawn, go with something like a perennial rye grass. Uh, it does well in the sun. It has a fast establishment. It'll blend into almost any lawn. If you're looking for something that's going to be your best looking lawn, it's going to make a dark green color uh, in the picture-perfect lawn, go with something that's Kentucky Bluegrass or a Kentucky Bluegrass blend like this one that's 50% Kentucky Bluegrass and 50% perennial rye. However, keep in mind that Kentucky Bluegrass is going to take more water and fertilizer. If you're looking for something that's going to be more heat tolerant and more drought resistant, You'll go, you're going to want to look at the labels and find something that has turf type tall fescue. Um, that's going to be uh, the factors involved. Anytime you see a label that says drought resistance, heat tolerance, flip over the bag, look at the sticker. It'll tell you how much turf type tall fescue is in it. Most of the time, it'll be a blend between tall fescue and perennial rye. Uh, as a side note, tall fescue also does better in some shade conditions. Um, now, if you want something that's going to work well in the shade, buy a deep shade mix. Um, the shade mixes are uh, chewing fescues, uh, hard fescues, chewing red fescues, and then some hybrid rye and bluegrass varieties that usually grow shorter and do a little better in the shade. Keep in mind, though, that a shade mix does not do well at all in the sun, and if it gets dry or hot, it'll die out pretty quickly. Um, that being said, what you want to make sure that you look out for is I would never buy a grass seed that's sun shade mix. The reason I never buy a sunny shade or all purpose mix is because you're wasting half of your money. If you need a grass seed that does well in the sun, buy a sun mix like the rye or the bluegrass or the tall fescue. If you want something that does good in the shade, buy the fine fescue. What happens is if you put the fine fescue in the sun, it's going to die as soon as it gets hot and dry. If you put a bluegrass turf in the shade, it's going to thin out and thin out until eventually it dies because it doesn't do well. So basically, no matter what situation you have, you're going to waste half of your seed and half your money. Now let's take a look at the label so that you know what to purchase. These are different types of grass seed. And you can tell just by looking at the grass seeds that this is the rye grass. It's a medium sized seed. This is the bluegrass blend, and it's a finer seed. This is the fescue. It's a bigger, coarser seed. And this is the shade seed, which is a longer, skinnier seed. Um, it's kind of funny because you can look at these seeds and almost tell right away what kind of grass it's going to make. Medium texture fine bladed grass, coarse textured grass that's tougher, and maybe some skinny fine bladed grass. So whenever you buy grass seed, you'll want to actually look 
at the grass seed label. Uh, so when we're looking at this label, uh, we'll find that you know it has three different kinds of perennial rye, and it has 1.3% uh, inert matter. Now inert matter is unidentified things like shells from the seed, dust, or anything like that that might be in the bag. But this is an important factor too. How much weed seed is in the mix? And you can see a quality grass seed will have 0% weed seed. This is our rye blend, it has 0% weed seed. This is our bluegrass blend. Uh, it'll say weed seed per pound, 0% weed seed. This is our fescue blend. And you notice it has 0.01% weed seed, which is pretty much zero. And this is our shade seed that we use, um, and it has uh, weed seed 0.05%, which is next to nothing. So as you're buying your grass seed, hopefully this helps. Um, keep in mind that look at my other videos, you'll know what grass seeds will blend together better. But make sure you know what you're buying in your seed mix uh, before you seed so you don't screw up your lawn. Also, don't waste your money buying things that have a lot of inert matter or a, or a blend of sun and shade. Uh, because most of the time you're just going to throw away half your money. The other thing I'll note is some of that water smart seed, you know, they tote how good it is. I haven't seen any improved performance on that, but then again, when we do seeding, I encourage people to do the proper watering and maintenance. Hopefully this helps when you're getting ready to buy a bag of grass seed. If you want more specifics on it, look at my longer video that talks about the pros and cons of each one of these grass seed blends. Um, and we'll go from there. Hey, subscribe to my videos. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon.